We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day? Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London Hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept. Always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! A nest of cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. I knew it very differently once. Okay, it's been a day since uh, the last chapter, so go to get to the hospital undetected. Offering sanctuary to travelers. That was before even my time. The city walls had yet to come up. Now you can smell Whitechapel before you see it. So yeah, if you're unaware of what where Whitechapel is um, in relation to London, um, sorry, um, Jack the Ripper was known to have commit committed a lot of his murders in Whitechapel, which is a kind of a slum-like area where uh, prostitutes and hookers would uh, a lot reside a lot of the time. Um, you know, made it very easy for him to do what he did, you know. It, it was a lower-income area, so, you know, police weren't going to be around nearly as often. And nobody really seemed to give a shit about, uh, prostitutes at the time. <laughs> well, I mean, as if they do now. But my point is, is that, you know, it was, they were easy targets for somebody to practice his, um, as it used to sadism on. Year. I like researching, like, serial killers and stuff like that. It's, I don't know, for some reason they interest me a lot. That, that looks like there's something up there. Yeah, I don't want to get to that. Probably have to go around here. We rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. Understood. This way, monsieur. No shit. Alright, ch calm down. Calm down. Let's just chill. Stop jogging around all over the place. You look like an ass. Alright, there's something right here. What is this? The ashes Hi. are still warm. Is there something I can look at? Seems kind of arbitrary. Sometimes I can. there's something I can look into, and other times I can't. I guess that's the latter. Alright, is he seriously... Okay, never mind. That, that was a different person. Well then. Hold on a second. I want to get reacclimated with the controls real quick. What was the button to kind of update what the objective is at the moment? I don't know. Oh, wait. It's... What was it? R3 or L3? I pressed both at the same time because I'm stupid. Okay, it was R3. Good to know. Not bad. Yeah, it's an apple. Oh, 
Are we really going to throw an apple at this guy? It's kind of a dick move. Oi! Hey now. It's uh He's bleeding like a stuck pig, that one. Doesn't look good. He ain't getting up. Stay down, you stupid git. Why are we uh beating this guy up? No particular reason, just cause fuck him. Okay, so there's two ways it looks like I can go. I can go upstairs or down. I'm gonna go up because the shelter seems like uh, the correct destination. Just, I don't know. Call me crazy, but the lighting kind of gives that away to me. Nope. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go downstairs. We're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna see what happens. It's called shelter, I believe. So, what is it? A women's shelter? A homeless shelter? What kind of shelter is this? Strange place. By the way, sorry if you could hear the crack of my uh, chair. Or pop more so, but you know. What are you doing? Weirdo. Four pennies. Hang on a second. At the presentation of four pennies, you shall be you shall be provided, uh, sorry, shelter from the cold, sustenance of a meal, sleep accommodations, uh, warmth. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't read the rest of that. It's too far away. But basically, it's saying you know, at this shelter, you can find hospitality. Uh, was there something there? No. Okay. I don't know. So far, I'm liking this game. You know, it. if you're not used to this type of game, I can see why you wouldn't be into it. But so far, I, I, I'm enjoying it. Certainly. I was really only planning on, you know, giving about 30 minutes or so. But I've been playing for about an hour and a half now. I've been enjoying myself. The queen sits in her palace on a fat ass. Drinking East India tea and living off oh. the sweat of other people. Okay. Brown. I could have completely avoided that area if I wanted to. That's cool. Your blood. And how does our beloved queen show her consideration for us poor mortals? By sending her precious knights to prowl our streets and violate our homes in the name of law and order. Where is the law, I ask you? I'll tell you where. Dead and buried! And where there is no law, the people must rise up! Rise up and fight! To reclaim their rights! They tell you things have never been We've better. Been spotted. They it's tell been... you England is making progress. What's all this progress brought you? Hideous slums. Yeah, the Some fuck out of here. Crannies of obscure misery. Answer me! Oh, that poor woman's getting her ass kicked now. She's dead because of you! Well, now we don't know what she did. You know, she may have, like, cooked his food incorrectly. Alright. Give the guy a say. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Get to death, your aristocratic hands. Yo, what's up? It's all right. There's no need to be afraid. How could I have known he was a ripper? He was just another bloke. He killed another one last night. I didn't know. Leave her be, Monsieur. I didn't, didn't know. Say. Don't worry. You're safe now. I mean, that's safe. 
She's still in Whitechapel. She's not safe. You know. At best, she's just not dead. <laughs> Why do I get... Okay, hold on a sec. Is this guy like, uh... Hmm. Was he like her pimp? Is she, is she, a, is she a prostitute? I'm guessing she is. But I don't know. At first I was thinking that was like the woman's husband or something. In which case, we just made his day even worse. <laughs> we should head through this door. Now he's got a dead wife and a snapped arm. But, you know, that's probably not who it is. Okay, while holding... Rotate... Oh, okay. Fairly simple. Ah, uh, there we are. Got it. Weapons allowed in the establishment. You want to stay? You leave it here. Bien sûr, monsieur. As a matter of fact, we were just looking for the code closet. Give it here. And a fun governor. At ease, monsieur. A quick reconnaissance of the premises seems imperative. that ah it's a woman Zelda sounds about right yes mom that's quite all right love are your tits out yeah your tits are out all right there's a why the fuck is there a bathtub on the stage? Is that a- was that common practice in- in brothels? At the time, they would just bathe one of the dudes just on- in front of everyone? <laughs> the Ravens of London. They're getting organized. Nothing it looks like. Alright. Come on, okay, if it's still telling me I can do it, there's got to be, like, something I can examine. No, okay, I guess not. Whatever. Ah, <sighs> fine. Oh, what's this? Oh. That was, like, a phonogram or something. Join me upstairs, love. Another time. I can show you things you've never seen before. I don't doubt it. What would I have never seen before? Do you have like horns coming out of your vagina or something? I've never seen that. If you could show me that, I will pay you like twenty dollars. Is that cheap? Is that too cheap? I think I feel like that's too cheap. <laughs> that's a lot. I'm not reading all that. Is that, like, something I'm supposed to be able to read? Because that is, like... Very precise... Handwriting. And very small. Yeah, I can't read that. Especially not from this distance. Marky, this is no time for sport. Uh-oh. We have to find a way out of here quickly. I have just a thing, monsieur. If one of you ladies would reach into my pocket. Give it here, love. Is it sufficient, monsieur? 
More than sufficient, I'd say. Upstairs, then, if you please. Wait, is he joining us or something? Are you about ready, love? You won't forget this, I tell you. Oh, okay. This way, love. People are fucking. Get in here. Oi! Here! What are you up to? You're in the wrong room! Where's the little frog go? He's in there! With his friend! Oi! Get out of there! I already gave you the fucking money. Why does it matter? Oh! Hello? No. No gun. Nice dick, by the way. Hello. It's okay. It's okay. Not not gonna not gonna hurt you. Probably. Hello, Monsieur. What do we do now? Unless you're uh, into that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Yeah, I don't really understand why the prostitutes would be all upset. Not only... Are, they're getting paid and they don't have to fuck us. Like, that's a win-win. So what if they want to take up a room? Gives a shit. Did I go down? Go? Oh, okay. I thought I was like dropping we have completely. Intruded. Get your weapon. Let's go. Lafayette. Shh. Yeah. Be quiet. You French fuck. Nice water. I gotta say, one of my favorite time periods would have to be Victorian London. Like, steampunk Victorian- or not steampunk, but you know. Like, that sort of steam era Victorian Looks London like sort of thing. Nest. The slums, in particular. I, I really like Thief because it had that sort of feeling to it. I always found that era Keep intriguing. Up, I need to find a way through here. I shall be diligent, monsieur. I think I found it. Amnesia Machine for Pigs had the same time frame as well. Alright, come on, pick that up. Sons and daughters of Britain, be merry and joyful, for we have entered a new era of prosperity. Today, our glorious empire leads the relentless march of progress as Her Majesty's army and royal knights keep a watchful eye over our motherland, holding the half-breed threat at bay. The United India Company hoists our beloved Union Jack across the globe. As you and your children enjoy the satisfaction of an honorable day's work. Our factories produce goods that make England proud. As each day dawns on our magnificent empire, the sun shines on a brighter future than ever before. The future that you could be part of. Every day, Ordinary citizens stand up and seize opportunities that bring them riches and a better tomorrow. You could be next. So I ask you, children of Britain, are you doing your part? Be a benefit to England. Bring honor 
to the Empire.